Hey guys, John here with NitroPlanes.com. Thanks for joining us for another installment of our FPV series. Today we'll be covering cameras, OSDs, and simple wire connections to connect the two of them together. I do want to say thanks to Patrick for sponsoring this episode. Uh, if you guys haven't uh, checked them out yet, go to CSFPV or ChickenSashimiFPV.com and you guys can check out these cool FPV apparel. He's got shirts, hats, uh, bags, and a whole bunch of other different things uh, FPV related, whether you're into fixed wings or uh, multi-rotors, he's got them all. Today I'm wearing the uh, Battle of the Bands, the frequencies we talked about last week, 5.8, uh, 2.4, 1.3, 900 megahertz. So let's get right into the cameras. Cameras can range from high end to low end to high quality to low quality. You just kind of have to find the right one that fits your application. Um, first thing I want to talk about is recording cameras. Off here on the right, I've got a GoPro Hero 3 and also a Mobius camera here. Uh, these cameras do offer video out, live video out. However, their camera video out function is not as good as, say, one of these dedicated FPV cameras. They will do the job, and for those smaller applications and those micro quads or uh, aircrafts that can't carry large payloads, these would be a good alternative because not only do they give you a live video feed out, they also record in HD. So that being said, most of the FPV videos that you see that are these high quality videos with these cool uh, scenes and things like that are usually recorded from a GoPro, a Mobius, or other lightweight HD camera. However, the pilot usually is viewing through a CCD camera or a dedicated FPV camera. So let's get into details about these cameras. The first one is a 600 TV line ready-made RC camera. Now these are really, really good cameras and they are a bit pricey. However, these cameras offer different features. Uh, I've got another 600 TV line camera that does not offer the same features. However, it looks identical. The Rainmade RC camera also has a microphone built in, so you can actually hear the audio from the plane if you set that up on your video transmitter. Getting into a uh, cheaper camera, this would be a 600 TV line camera also. Uh, this one is a little bit cheaper on the, on the price wise and the quality end. This camera does not have a WDR setting. WDR is a wide dynamic ratio. What that does is basically allows the shutter to compensate different exposures and different lights. That's very important in FPV. I've got here in my hand my favorite camera here. This is the PZO420. This camera offers 600 TV lines, high resolution Sony SuperHad chip, and also offers the wide dynamic ratio uh, feature, as well as a bunch of other functions that can be changed with the OSD control board. The reason I like this camera the best is because it's a dedicated camera its only job is to give out a live video feed. So I usually put this camera alongside my GoPro. So I'll record in the HD and I'll have the quality video here and I'll have the dedicated FPV camera uh, available for me here. Now getting into the wide dynamic ratio and why this is so important in FPV is when you're flying around in an aircraft, if you're doing any kind of um, uh, proximity flying or flying into the sun or uh, coming into high exposure and low exposure areas, you need that camera to quickly assess the situation and quickly transition from dark spaces to uh, colored spaces and light spaces. So for example, if I'm flying my aircraft here and I'm about to drop down underneath some trees or in through some tunnels or a branch or something like that, I want the camera to expose quickly on the ground and give me that good solid detail. But the second I pull out of my maneuver and I start heading towards the sun, I don't want it to overexpose so I get nothing but white screen. So that's why I choose the uh, cameras with the WDR settings. Now, as you can see, this camera has some weird wires attached to it because it's basically a security camera. FPV is basic security system hacked up and modified to use on our aircraft. As you can see, it'll have the 12 volt bullet connector here and the RCA connector that will go into most DVRs. The other plug on the back here is the OSD board and this allows for changing and uh, adjusting the functions of the camera. This particular camera has the OSD board already embedded on the, on the actual case. It is a little bit heavier, so that is something to think about. Another major reason why I don't use the GoPro or the Mobius camera is because these run off a battery. If your battery dies while you're in the air, you're SOL. Your plane's going down because if you don't have video, you can't control your aircraft. So this is another reason why I don't use the GoPros and the Mobius cameras for my live video feed on an aircraft. 
Now, on a vehicle or on a ground vehicle, these would be a perfect application. You can save weight and you can keep it in a nice compact form. All right, guys, thanks for watching another episode. Uh, if this video helped you out, don't forget to hit the like button. Again, if you guys want a chance to win a shirt, click here, which will take you over to my channel. There'll be instructions on how to win that shirt there. And as always, I'm Johnny. Thanks for watching. Thank you.